This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, September 2nd, to Sunday, September 8th, 2024. When you look back at all the wonderful things that have happened in your life, you can always understand that magic was involved. Magic that allowed things to come together in ways that were so much better than anything you could have done on your own. Yes, you were there and involved and you were amazing, but also something else was afoot that nudged you along and supported your positive outcome. That's the magic. Love, births, healings, connections. These are things that bring you joy and are filled with magic and divine alignment. So at some point, you have to get out of the way and allow things to happen, to come together, to complete. Your life has been filled with wondrous magic. Magic is not only in your past, you have so much more to look forward to. There's so much more magic to step forward to give you desired outcomes in ways you could never do on your own. Relaxing, trusting, allowing. These are attributes that encourage magic to play out in your life. If you've ever watched one of the time-lapse videos of a seed growing until it blooms into a beautiful flower, this is the perfect example of allowing magic in your life. Who knew a nondescript tiny seed would grow into such an amazing full-bloom flower? Your life is filled with nondescript seeds, eager to burst forth into full bloom. All you have to do is allow the seed to be planted and nurtured so it can grow. And there are full blooms galore waiting for you to plant the seeds. Your life path is a magical, wondrous journey to be loved and to be enjoyed, and to have all those seeds planted so magic can play out for you. And for assistance in identifying those seeds and planting your seeds of a wonderful life and to allow the magic to come for you, have a reading. All the information for your reading is on my website spiritpathways.net and these are the nine cards for the energy of this week whoop there we go jumping out at us now let's lay these out i'm going to go over each one so you know how to use this energy so it benefits you along your life path so you have alignment all right interesting energy this week all right we're starting with the page of swords the page of swords wants to start something but <laughs> it's been holding back a bit so it's telling you to get more information to do the research to google the thing to take the class so you feel better about the knowledge you have to step forward, the wisdom and the knowledge to apply to a new beginning that's going to be in alignment with what you want to enjoy. And yes, sometimes life has ups and downs, but you're divinely protected. This is a perfect place where the magic comes into play. Just trust and allow, don't get stuck in the actual ups and downs. Trust and allow highest outcomes. You are protected. 
And this is the card of wanting things to take off in your life, but needing to deal with some inner struggles first. So pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to what's going on in your mind so you can identify where you are resisting, where you are doubting. So you can get assistance with that to open the energy up, to open your flow up, to open up the movement. I feel like last week was about a lot of new beginnings. And so this week is about adjusting to that new energy. You've been waiting for something. So pay attention to the epiphanies that you're getting and also help yourself in this waiting time for a different perspective, for a new perspective, a fresh perspective. It's going to help you be in better alignment. Also allow someone to assist you, to help you, to have an exchange with you that's going to help you move forward as well. And perhaps this card here under the chariot, your inner struggles have to do with some grief, something you feel you lost, and the healing around that. And if you need help, have a reading. We can absolutely process this for you so you get to be in a better place about where you want to be and not to be stuck in any grief. And <laughs> to understand where you've been giving your power away, where you've perhaps been allowing someone else to make decisions for you. That is a dynamic that you can choose to change now. The devil is always a card of choice. What are you participating in? Let's make a different choice. Let's have different thoughts and ideas that are far more positive and will move you forward in ways that will make you happy. You've got the queen of wands, fantastic card for happiness, for inspiration, for safety, for strength. She's got the solutions you need in these areas to bring you into alignment, to get to the outcomes that you've been seeking. And we started with the page of swords. We're ending with the knight. The page comes right before the knight. The page is the messenger of the beginning and to get more information. And the knight says, let's take that information and let's not be impulsive. Let's not rush in. Let's acclimate. Let's get into alignment with exactly what we're trying to accomplish so that we get the best, absolute best outcomes. Very important energy all to bring you into alignment so you are living your best life. Have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.